If you're a teacher or a student and you're looking for clever ways to use Quizlet, then watch this video. I'm going to show you some ways that I combine Quizlet with AI. They're super quick. I'm going to show you three ideas. And these are ideas that I actually use in my own teaching and learning. I've previously worked for Quizlet and done presentations for them. I know the product really well and I promise you these ideas are simple, quick and they're really effective and this would be both useful for teachers and students. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia. If you want to try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there and there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description. This first idea is such a time saver. I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT. You could probably do this in other large language models. All I'm gonna do is write a simple instruction to ChatGPT. Let me write it and then read it to you. Now I've written the instructions in English, but you can write the instructions in other languages as well. All I've written is, can you make a list of 10 words in English connected with football? And can you include simple definitions of each word? Can you organize this into a table in two columns? Now I'm gonna click on this button and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. And it's gonna produce this lovely table for me. And the thing is, I'm gonna be able to copy this directly into Quizlet and immediately play the game using these words. Now I might have to check and make sure that I'm happy with the definitions so that they're at the right level. You can always ask it to do it again and make the definitions easier. But if I'm happy, watch this. All I need to do now, and this is why I asked them to put them into columns, I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna jump straight over to Quizlet and paste these words in and it will make the cards almost immediately. Now I literally use Quizlet on a daily basis. I'm gonna click here. I'm going to click on study sets and all I need to do, watch this, just two or well, three simple things. I'm just going to write a title and I'm going to call this football words in English. I don't need to put in any description. I click on import. This is the secret because those words are organized in the table. If you paste those words in and now click on import, you would have actually made all those cards, okay? So now we can start studying. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that teachers and students often miss when they go to play with the cards, and this is really important. Just watch this. First little tip, always click on the first word and just make sure it picks up the language, okay? Because sometimes it doesn't pick the language up. That's the first really important tip. Second, click on create, and the cards will be ready now. We can close that down. We're gonna start playing. Click on flashcards, and this is really important. Go over to the options, and my what I normally do is I start with the definition, so I'm gonna answer with the term, and really important is turn on text-to-speech. This is really important. Now, watch what happens when you play the game. A scoring opportunity achieved by sending the ball into the opponent's net. Okay, I'm gonna call that a goal. Goal. Next one. A punishment given for a foul committed inside the penalty area, often resulting in a penalty kick. Penalty. Penalty. Really quick break from the video, just a few seconds. If you like what you see and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a menu system along the top that you can make use of, but if you scroll down on the first page, you'll see lots and lots of videos. I specialize in the use of technology for both teachers and students in the domain of language learning. Now, if you really wanna follow what I do, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest videos. You also get updated on the webinars that we run and they're often free, just like the one that you can see on the screen now and also the blog posts and the courses that I run. But most interestingly, at the moment if you sign up, you get a free 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on my website and on my YouTube channel that teachers and students have commented on. And there's about 14 videos in total and nearly everything that I recommend is free. Right, let's get back to the video. 
Now I'm gonna show you something that I do all the time with Quizlet, again, this is super quick. If I'm watching a video, let's say in Polish, because I wanna study the language and there's a sentence that I don't understand, well, I can go to the transcript of the video and what I can do is I can just simply uh, copy the sentence, okay? So let's take this one as an example. I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna jump over to Google Translate and I'm just gonna paste that word in and it's gonna give me the translation. Now, what I can do, and hopefully you know this, but if you don't, this is really useful, is that you can save all your words that you wanna learn or sentences that you wanna learn into your work or your word book. And just click here. Now, when you wanna open up your word book, you can just come to saved, and you'll see all the words here that I've currently got saved, got lots of phrases saved that currently I need to study. Now, watch this, this is really clever when you're working with Quizlet. I'm gonna click on this button here. So, I've collected all the sentences together that I wanna learn by adding them in to Google Translate. I'm gonna click on this button here, and what it's gonna do, it's gonna open up again into columns for me, this is absolutely perfect, into columns, all of those words. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up those columns, just to open those columns up, and now we can do exactly what we did in the other activity. Now I'm not gonna copy them all, I don't have to, all I need to do is just copy the two columns. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press copy, so I've collected all these words and all these translations. I'm gonna jump over to um, Quizlet, I'm gonna now make a new set of cards. So I'm just gonna click here and click on new study set, okay? And we're gonna call this here English to Polish, okay? Because these are basically words that I'm just studying through translation. So this is a very clever idea because what you do is click on import and do the same as you did before. Paste those words in and click on import. Now exactly the same as before, make sure that it's picked up the language. So just go to the top one, click, make sure that you've got, for example, it's picked up the Polish and it's picked up English. Now, we're gonna click on create and we can start using it again. We're gonna click on flashcards and this time what we're gonna do is click on options and I'm gonna answer with English, okay? So I'm gonna read the Polish and answer with English and then I'm gonna, again, turn on the text to speech. And if you wanna be even more detailed, you can even click on advanced and you can actually choose to not have the speech on in English because obviously I speak English, so there's no point. Now we start playing the game. Jasne, że lubię podróżować. Okay, and then I can, you know, obviously, or yes, uh, of course, I love traveling. Okay, and then click on the next one. Poczekaj parę minut. Wait a few minutes. Really glad that you stayed to the end of the video. And don't forget what I mentioned. If you sign up to the newsletter on teachertrainingvideos.com, there is a 14 part course. It's completely free. There are no tricks uh, in using technology in teaching and learning. And nearly everything that I recommend is free. If you do wanna contact me about doing some training with you, perhaps with your institution, you can contact me from the website. I run workshops, I do lots of conferences. I sometimes even do one-to-one -one training on very specialized technologies like Zoom and Camtasia. Finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, uh, then you can join me on Patreon. For just $6 a month, you get the chance to meet me online with the rest of the Patreon group. We normally look in detail at a particular technology and then we do activities with it so that we learn it really well. And I often show the teachers things that they don't realize about these technologies. And apart from that, I also add up videos onto Patreon that I don't use or don't add on to my YouTube channel. These are often technologies that I've not covered on YouTube or I go into more detail. So for example, you can see here on the screen now several videos that I've uploaded and we haven't covered these aspects on uh, YouTube. So if you're interested in that live training with me plus extra content that I put onto Patreon, the cost is $6 a month, then please join me. I'd love to see you on Patreon as well. I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.